In the last video, we looked at how we could define the notion of a corner for a convex set in dimensions higher than 3. And the definition that we ended up with was this. Let C be a convex set. We say that a point in C is an extreme point if there do not exist lambda between 0 and 1, and x, y in C, x, y not equal, such that z can be written as 1 minus lambda times x plus lambda times y. Geometrically, this means that z is an extreme point if it does not lie in the interior of any line segment contained in C. One peculiar side effect of this definition is it doesn't really correspond to our intuition of corner because if you look at the disk in two mat dimensions, every point on the perimeter is an extreme point because no matter how small a line segment you draw across this point, at least one side will be outside of the disk. But for polyhedra, extreme points do correspond to corners in two and three dimensions. And so we'll keep this definition for high dimensions as well. Just keep in mind that when you are not looking at a polyhedron, extreme points do not necessarily mean sharp corners. It looks like it's not so easy to check if a point is an extreme point. I would say it's much easier to check if a point is not an extreme point because all you need to do is to come up with x and y and lambda satisfying this condition and show that z is this combination. So we are going to look at a characterization of extreme points in the case when the set C is a polyhedron. But before we do that, uh, let's prove the following fact. Okay, so we call this a proposition. the set H given by X in Rn such that Ax is greater than Euro beta has no extreme point for N greater than equal to 2. Here A is in Rn, A is not 0, and beta is in R. So let's prove this. The proof is not too difficult. Consider the equation A transpose x equal to 0. Since n is at least 2, that means there are at least two variables in this equation. Well, the rank of this system is at most 1. So the nullity of A transpose is at least 1. Hence, there exists a non-zero d such that a transpose d equals 0. Recall that I'm here using the fact that the rank of a matrix plus the nullity of the matrix is equal to n number of columns of A. Now with this, we can show that no point in H is an extreme point. Take any z in H, then half z minus d plus half z plus d. Well, this point is simply z and z minus d and z plus d are in h. But they are distinct because d is non-zero. They are in h because, well, if you plug in a transpose z minus d, for example, well, that's simply a transpose z minus a transpose d, but a transpose d is 0, so this is just a transpose z. And that, of course, is at least beta. And the same thing is true if you put a plus a transpose z plus d, is again a transpose z, that's at least beta as well. So z cannot be an extreme point because I can find distinct points. In this case, my x and y are z minus d and z plus d, and my lambda is a half, such that z can be written as this combination. 